Abby Myers here. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Dial us up on the World Wide Web at www.ntnm.org, the gateway to watch all our shows on the web through YouTube. Uh, over 30,000 shows watched, and the figure's climbing. By this time, it's probably more like 32,000, but, uh, you know, it just keeps climbing, and it keeps multiplying exponentially, and thank you so much. Um, community policing, check us out at caps24.org. Uh, run by our entire technical crew, Sonny Hirsch. Sonny just went through some FBI training, uh, as a matter of fact, which is one of the reasons he's in. Actually, if you saw him, he's better dressed than I am, but not my guest necessarily. <laughs> um, Sonny tr was trained yesterday to be a member of the top 10 most wanted list of the FBI, and we hope he <laughs> succeeded. It is a pleasure to have um, one of the two contestants in what I think is going to be the most interesting local race. This year, by far, the race for the state's attorney of Cook County, the Republican candidate, um, Tony Pareka, commissioner. Thank you. Pleasure to be here once again. First of all, thank you, and it's a pleasure to see you. And we, we um, t tell us this is going to be a very exciting, uh, exciting contest. There are no boring races when Tony Pareka is involved. I guarantee you that. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. What do you see as the? Um, so tell us, what do you see as the issues for the state's attorney's office? Well, we have been mired in corruption here in Crook County, as I like to call it. Uh, you really think so? I do, I do. We're no longer known for Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls, or even Al Capone. Now we know for the corruption mm. that permeates all levels of government, legislative, judicial, executive branch, state, county, and city of Chicago. As a matter of fact, I asked on a previous show, I, I, I asked the, Steve Rhodes, a reporter, which he thinks is more corrupt, the state, the county, or the city? <laughs> That's a difficult question to, uh, to answer because I think that uh, they're uh, competing with, with each other as the most corrupt governmental entity. If you, con if you consider by the number of convictions by the U.S. Attorney, City of Chicago will be the most corrupt thus far. I was recently with uh, Professor Dick Simpson at the U University yeah. of uh, Illinois. He's still right here, by the way. He still does, as a matter of fact, I oh. believe. Okay. Not too far from here south uh, around Lawrence. And uh, he said, uh, Tony, did you know that since 1972, 1,000 government elected officials, appointees, or government employees were convicted since 1972 in Cook County? Wow. 1,000. So we hold a record, bar none, <laughs> compared to New Jersey and Louisiana, which used to be known as the most corrupt places. Crook County now <laughs> holds that spot with pride. So therefore, the state's <laughs> attorney's office, as the chief law enforcement office in Cook County, is a very important uh, law enforcement component between the U.S. Attorney and the Attorney General. The state's attorney is the second largest the prosecutorial office probably in the country. Uh, it has 1,700 employees, of whom 900 are assistant state's attorneys, a budget of $167 million a year. It's an office that unfortunately should, uh, rather than serving as kind of a uh, 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 cover-up, mechanism, turning a blind eye to all the corruption going on in the county and the city government, uh, you know, the office should be prosecuting, investigating, prosecuting, using the tools of subpoena, grand jury, and indictment to go after those white-collar criminals as well as prosecuting criminal defendants uh, because the, the basic principle of our campaign is that corruption equals higher taxes. And in Crook County, we're paying about $200 million in corruption tax <laughs> at the county government level alone, let alone the city, CTA, Chicago Public Schools, Water Reclamation, County of Cook, uh, Park District, Library District, and so forth. It's a huge governmental set of uh, budgets that the county state's attorney needs to keep an eye on for the taxpayers of Cook County. That would be a very nice thing. And usually they do keep an eye on it. They make sure the tools get higher. <laughs> yes. Make sure that their friends do not get indicted. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's happened. It's 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 interesting. I don't think too many of the um, too many of the indictments have come out of the state's attorney's office, have they? No, my opponent, uh, uh, who is um, uh, who was nominated by the Democratic Party, has been there for 22, going on 23 years. Uh, she has been the chief of staff, uh, chief of uh, governmental uh, integrity unit, an oxymoron. Yeah. Uh, she has been the head of special prosecutions, uh, number two person in the in the uh, state's attorney's office and really has not engaged in investigation, indictment, uh, and the prosecution of any uh, significant public corruption uh, cases. That goes for, you know, uh, corruption in the judicial system, like the Operation Greylord, for example, in the 80s, or the Operation uh, Hire Truck uh, that netted 70 
the indictments mm -hmm. and convictions by the U.S. attorney or the patronage hiring or the asphalt contracts or the minority contract abuses or the theft of county money and city money through overtime fraud, contract fraud, ghost payrolling, minority contract abuses, and numerous other schemes and scams that the uh, employees are running on our dime. Yeah. Well, actually, it's a lot more than a dime. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hundreds of millions, unfortunately. Yeah, no, the, um, this is amazing. I, I tell you, it just amazes me because there's so many more creative ways that the that government has used of late to, uh, to, to, to pad the wallets. It's just beyond belief. Yes. Well, unfortunately, it has become an accepted form of uh, behavior and practice here. And uh, we have become so callous and so hardened by all of the corruption that permeates every layer and every branch of our government that uh, people are not as easily uh, excited about, uh, you know, somebody stealing half a million dollars. You know, it has to be $50 million <laughs> before anyone pays attention. But when you add up these smaller and yeah. mid-size uh, abuses that occur on a cumulative basis over six or seven layers of government, it amounts to literally to hundreds of millions of dollars. And as the city of Chicago has raised the real estate tax and the sales tax and the real estate transaction tax, the county of Cook has increased the sales tax last year against all of the efforts that uh, I have tried to uh, wage on the county board when Larry Sufferton at the last moment switched and provided the ninth, ninth vote to the uh, Stroger team to enact a $450 million sales tax increase on top of gasoline tax, entertainment tax, and other taxes. And, of course, the state of Illinois is now looking at doubling our income tax, among other tax increases. And when you put that against the backdrop of a... Uh, falling or, or uh, dropping economic uh, set of circumstances with a rising unemployment rates, with falling housing prices, uh, with uh, greater unemployment, with foreclosures, uh, evictions, the car repossessions, credit cri card crisis. Uh, the government answer to decreasing revenue uh, being let's raise more taxes is absolutely uh, fatal in many households across this county and, and I would fight that tax increase uh, with every ounce of my being and I would make sure that we run that office as a point of pride for the county taxpayers and one that would not only investigate criminal crimes, criminal offenses and prosecute those which we have a statutory obligation to do but also to go against those who engage in governmental fraud, white collar crime to make sure that that's where the big money is, to make sure that we don't pay extra taxes because of that. Yeah, people don't begin to understand things about white collar crime, and just because people are pretty or aren't quite street thugs doesn't mean that they're right. not doing every bit the job. We do have the highest um, r real estate tax in the country, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, not real estate tax, sales the highest tax. sales tax, yeah. and that's about as regressive a sales ta uh, regressive a tax as you can find, because even the poorest people are buying all these items, you know, these base items, and it just, um, oh, it, it, not to mention all the nickel and diming on various levels. Yeah. Um, well, gasoline is now $4 uh, plus per gallon. Plus, yeah. In Cook County, there's a city of Chicago gasoline tax, yeah. uh, state gasoline tax, federal gasoline tax, and on top of that is the county gasoline tax. Yeah. We therefore pay tax on top of tax on top of tax. <laughs> uh, the Roughly about 30% of the cost of a gallon of gas is related to governmental taxation. Wow, that's, that's way over a dollar. I, I know from my old smoking days that, that the percentage on uh, tobacco was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. In Cook County, it's four dollars and sixty cents. That's the tax, state and local taxes. Wow. On one pack of cigarettes, four dollars and sixty cents. Uh, it, it's absurd. It's one of the reasons I had to quit. <laughs> Good for you. I'm glad you did. Well, actually, that and in, in, in an interesting stay in the hospital I didn't expect <laughs> kind of scared the hell out of me. <laughs> but, uh, Usually that will do it. I, I do miss them. Well, I actually didn't the first or second time. <laughs> but, uh, the, the last time I got really scared, and it's actually been, well, it'd be a lie. I snuck a couple this year. <laughs> but it's I've been a little over four years since I've actually, um, you know, been any kind of regular smoke. And I'm talking like, you know, three cigarettes total this year. Well, you're doing well. So I'm shocked I was able to do that much. Um, in any event, uh, so it, uh, let me ask you: In terms of if you get, in, you know, if you get into office, how, how do you? Are, are those set jobs that people have? Are those um, are those considered patronage jobs? Are those? I mean, are those considered civil service jobs? I mean, you, are you able to, to? 
you can put direction to people, that's for sure, but right. can you change the actual landscape of the employees? Well, or? what needs to change throughout the county government and including the uh, state's attorney office is the culture. The mm -hmm. culture in county government, city government is one of, let me see how little I can do today and get away with it. Yeah. I mean, that needs to change. So we need to change the, the, the uh, manner in which the employees uh, behave. We need to conduct a, a desk audit from the top to the lowest position so that every employee would show exactly what is it that you do eight hours a day. Uh, we need to make sure that we have productivity. We need to make sure that we have professionalism. We need to make sure that we pay our attorneys properly so that they have the incentive to do the job and put in the long hours that are necessary as professional prosecutors. Uh, the office of Cook County State's Attorney not only manages and handles some 60,000 felony cases each year wow. plus uh, wow. and 200,000 misdemeanor cases that are brought, but also serves as a chief legal advisor to the county board president, to the county board of commissioners, and the other uh, constitutionally elected uh, um, county officials. So it, it also defends workman's compensation claims, medical malpractice cases that are brought against the county doctors at three hospitals and 15 clinics. Uh, it represents the uh, sheriff on excess police force cases. So there's a wide range of civil work, defense work, that the, case, uh, that the uh, uh, state's attorney cases uh, involve. And I've been a practicing attorney for 25 years as opposed to my opponent who has been with the government uh, uh, her entire life. She has never had a private sector job. Mm -hmm. I have had uh, three offices, 15 employees, have had to meet payroll every two weeks, as I still do, okay. uh, pay benefits. Then so I know think. what it's like to maintain a, a business as well as be a commissioner, know the budget for six years, be on the litigation committee, and do all of those things. And speaking of your employees, I want to say hi to Marianne, and thank you very much. Uh, you're always a pleasure to work with, and all the arrangements were great when I talked to you. Nice. and. Um, Thank you so much, Marianne. <laughs> um, so, no, that, that, that much is good. Where, where are your offices located? I have an office at 5130 South Archer Avenue, Chicago. It's near Pulaski and Archer, right by Midway Airport. Uh, before I got elected county commissioner in 2002, I had an office here at Lincoln Square oh. uh, on Lawrence and Western, just east of it. And I had an office in Bridgeport, at 3300 South Halsted Street. After being elected in 2002 as a commissioner, I had to consolidate into the 5130 South Archer, and those who want to take a look at that information can go to parika.com, P-E-R-A-I-C-A.com, get that information, or for our website to join parika.com, J-O-I-N, parika.com, or just Google us, you can find all the information online. Yeah, Googling definitely works, and um, yeah, there's a lot of interesting information. I haven't totally Googled you yet, because I figure I'll talk to you first, and we're definitely going to have you on at least a couple more times. We still have about a minute and a half, so go plug away. <laughs> well, as I said, in addition to corruption equals higher taxes, yeah. which is kind of the premise upon which we are running, we're also kind of picking up a Jacksonian statement. You know, we're going to audit the books and lock up the crooks. <laughs> <laughs> Because the state's attorney's office really needs mm -hmm. to act as a watchdog for the taxpayers of Cook County, who ultimately foot that bill for $3.2 billion to run this whole operation, to make sure that the taxpayers' interests are protected and respected, and that those who are elected or appointed or work for governmental bodies do not take advantage of the taxpayers of Cook County. That's how I see the role of the Cook County state's attorney. And in addition to that, I think we really need to re-examine the whole uh, correctional system and the judicial system uh, in Cook County because it is a complete failure. A perfect example which is in the papers now is the R. Kelly uh, case, the famous case that's being tried I'm at 26th in California yeah. uh, where the uh, famous uh, rapper is being charged with having sex with a 12-year-old girl and have, they have him on DVD engaging in sexual conduct with a 12-year-old yet it took the Cook County State's Attorney's Office six years to get it to the point where the trial actually began to take place. Six years, and that's by no means unique. We have, uh, at this point, about 100 cases that are four years or older wow. where the defendants are sitting in jail and taxpayers are paying $100 a day to keep them locked up in the 26th in California wow. uh, system. At, at this point, joinparaka.com is the website. Here. I hear, but we're out of time. So I want to thank you very much. I want to thank my entire techno crew, crew Sonny Hirsch, Tony Pareka. And uh, we'll see Always. you a couple more times between now and the election. Thank you.